Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me again for American Truck Simulator. Um, we are going to be taking a load from Bozeman, Montana, Kalispell, Montana, 69,000 pounds of beets. We are driving Outlaws 90s model W900 Kenworth. And we also have the uh, Wilson Haysetter hopper trailer um, that was made by Inga. I'm using Team Reforma's map mods and a couple of other mods by Zmod. Um, we have a 500 horsepower ISX Commons and a 13 speed with double overdrive. Let's uh let's get this run started, shall we? Such a nice truck. Really, really like this truck. Get going here and we'll talk a little bit more. We're pulling out of here. Just about 20 past the hour. Noon on a Friday in game. Just hope that we don't have too much issues with traffic at this time. Such a sweet sounding truck. But the wind is down. You can hear it. Might be a little bit too loud. Hold it back up. Um, it's a really nice sounding truck. I mean, it matches the six inch straight pipes that I have on it. It's, but we're going to find out how well pull this heavy trailer we have behind us. I mean, 69,000 pounds. Between the truck and the trailer and the load, we're well, well over 80,000. Creep on out of here. Wait for a break in traffic. Wait for this car to go by. Should be good to go. I have all the stopping power that I can with this load. I really like the look and the quality of this truck. Outlaw did an amazing job making this truck. There was quite a few customizations I was able to do on it, like adding those extra lights back there in the bunk, changing up the steps and the tanks, adding them ladders and things on there. It was a really nice truck. It sounds really good too. In real life, I always like these uh, 90s model Kenworths. Get over here because we're going to be making the left turn up here shortly. Yeah, I really, really like this truck. Like I said in real life, I always, I don't know, there was just something about this model Kenworth before they, they switched the, they changed the doors, you know, to where they had that little bit of drop in the front and they still have the wing window. And this one, I, I really like this truck.
but I'm a huge fan of the older trucks, the 70s, 80s, early 90s. I did another video, um, you check out, it's on my channel. I uploaded it yesterday of a 90s model, uh, white GMC, like a white Volvo 90s corporation truck. That was also a really nice truck. Uh, sorry about that. I had to pause the recording. My microphone dropped for some reason and it wasn't, there was nothing coming out, so. But we're back. I fixed it. I'll just uh, do a little bit of editing and edit that out. But oh, back to what I was uh, what I was saying before my mic cut out on me was uh, my dad had a '95 Western Star that had the 3406E in it, and Z Mods did a really good job making that truck sound, uh, making that engine sound sound pretty realistic. So I was glad for that, and I. I will be uh, looking into and maybe purchasing some other uh, Zmod engine sounds and see what else he has to offer since he does such a great job. Let me know what you guys would like to see in future ATS videos. Um, is any specific trucks that you would like me to uh, to make a video on? Trailers, engine sounds. Let me know, and I will uh, definitely check them out and try and make that work. I just I just love driving and playing this game, so I'm up for pretty much any haul, any truck any configuration it doesn't matter you guys let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in future ATS videos or comment down below on other videos you would like to see me play or like to see me make rather right now I'm mostly just uh, playing ATS and Grand Theft Auto you know online 5M servers and different servers and things like that so I'm always looking for any kind of recommendations on what you think I should do what kind of video I should make I'll never turn down any ideas so I'll, uh, I'll always at least look into them and you know check them out and see if they work out for me and uh for content. I apologize if I sound a little off. Um, I don't know, it's allergies or what's going on today. I'm a little bit blocked up, so. This truck pulls this load pretty nice. I still have another gear and I'm already doing 69, almost 70. Before I started the video, I had to drive this truck just from the service station over to where we picked up at and uh, I noticed that it it's a little bit top-heavy around the turn, so you got to be very careful going around the turns. I don't know if it's the truck mod or the trailer mod, but it does get a little bit top-heavy. But I'm really, really loving this truck, like I said before. It, this is one that I will uh, I'll keep in my inventory for a while. 
I change it up. I mean, there's a couple different configurations and things that I could do with it, but if you guys like the truck or the trailer or uh, I'm not so sure about the engine sound where that came from when I installed the truck, I didn't add anything else and I do have a couple of engine um, packs that are on here like a Creech Bombs engine pack. There's a couple other ones so I'm not exactly sure where the, the Cummins sound came from but I will link the truck and the trailer and uh, Reforma's map mod that I'm using as well in the description below. Um, I'm also using a few of Zmod's sound packs like interior sounds um, it just adds more realistic you know sound to the interior and I'm using his um, train and um, railroad crossing sound mod as well which really makes the, the sound of the train um, pop it makes it really nice uh, I'm also using I think Zmod's wind and rain sounds when it rains the rain sounds a little more realistic but um, I found all of those, I believe, all of Zmod's sound mods that I mentioned are in, are on the Steam Workshop, I believe. But, so you can check them out on there. But the other mods I'll link in the description. As well as all my socials, you could uh, follow me on Twitter. I usually try and post on there as soon as, uh, as, soon as I upload a new video. I also have a Discord server that you could find me on if you just search for Olcom G221's server through Discord, as well as an Instagram page that is also linked in the description. But yeah, um, let me know what, what things you would like to see in another ATS video, or like I said, what other kind of videos you want me to, to make? I could start playing some other games with some suggestions, you know? Oh, there's a lot of lag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, there we go. Thought it was going to freeze. All right, we're good. <laughs> I held my breath for that one. Getting a little bit more lag spike than usual. I don't know if it's from all this stainless steel on this trailer or what's going on with that but nothing too bad oh we gotta pull into the wait station another thing you could let me know down in the comments is how my audio quality is I'm fairly new at uploading videos so I, I want to make sure that I have you know that my mic is set up right and that the audio isn't too loud you know I don't want it to uh, I don't want the truck to be so loud that you can't hear me talking or the other way around I mean the purpose of this video is for me when I watch them anyway is mostly I mean, well, I love the driving aspect, but I love hearing the sounds of the trucks and all the different noises, so I want to make sure that all of that is set up just right for you guys. Unfortunately, I went too far. Now I'm kind of stuck. Guy won't get out of my way. Oh well, we're just gonna blow by the scales, pretend we stopped. I was actually thinking about building a a heavy haul truck, you know, and getting into some of them. Uh, Police escort at loads too. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see that.
the truck steers pretty well. Um, I'm not sure why I have that issue with it uh, kind of being top heavy. I mean, if I'm if I'm going around a corner, even just three or four miles per hour over the suggested speed around that curve, it seems to almost get up on two wheels. At least that's what it feels like inside the cab here, in the cab view. Um, I didn't try and push it because I only hooked this truck up in the trailer and just drove just a little ways, you know, to get to the destination where we loaded up these beats. But even like now, it kind of seems, you know, if I, if I just jerk it a, a wheel around a little bit, it kind of... Maybe it's just the new uh, physics and stuff with the 1.47 update for S from SES. I don't know. If you didn't already update to the 1.47 or even now the 1.48 that just came out, um, I highly recommend you do so. The truck physics seems to be a lot more realistic and... There's also like, excuse me, there's also like road textures, road, um, like, you know, potholes and things. So it just has a whole different feel. Especially with the controller, you know, that it has the vibration on. Sometime in the future, I would really love to upgrade to like, a, to a wheel, like maybe a Thrustmaster or something. Maybe not a Thrustmaster right away, because I think they're pretty expensive, but I would really like to upgrade to a to a Thrustmaster or some kind of wheel. Get the whole shifter set up and stuff. It would just make the playing experience a million times better than using the controller. But the controller is a big uh, upgrade from using the keyboard. I started out playing... ATS when I started out playing truck sims when Pedal to the Metal first came out. You know, it was a long time ago. You're I think over 20 years, maybe maybe not quite 20, but it's been a, it was a while, and I was using the keyboard for the longest time. Even when I first when um, American Truck Simulator first came out, and I was using the keyboard, and it was just. It just wasn't great to use. I was hoping that it would get dark in the game before we got to our destination, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. This truck looks really sweet at night with all the lights, and especially the trailer. The trailer's lit up pretty well. I used a modded reefer trailer in my 90s corporation truck video, and that was pretty sweet. That had a lot of customizations on it, um, even at Underglow, which I thought was really cool. The trailer did. You're able to select the different colors to the Underglow and stuff. That was a nice trailer. But overall, these last this video and the last video I did with the 90s Truck Corporation, I was really happy with the truck and trailer combination. and the engine sounds and stuff like that so overall I was happy to upload that video I mean I have what's up my cruise here I mean I have a couple of videos that I started to make you know with different trucks and trailers and loads and I I just wasn't happy with them and I didn't want to I didn't I never edited edited them and then put them out because I didn't want to I don't know, I just, overall I just wasn't happy with them, and I don't want to put out any content that, you know, I don't feel good about. Jeez. 
know what that was about. That flatbed just stopped on the highway for no reason and started going again. Yeah, tell me what you think about the truck and the ISX coming sound and that trailer. The trailer's really sweet. The only thing I wish for the trailer is that it had a different skin. So this was the default on it, and I wasn't able to change it. But I mean, it was a it was a, a mod I got off of a free website, so I'm still happy. It was well worth the the price that I paid for it. my exit? I think I did. Make me turn around. Yep, I must have missed it. We'll just get back on and double back. What's he doing? Gonna sit there and wait for me? Alright, thanks. I'm also thinking about uh, making a video with a uh, just running some of the back roads, you know, start somewhere where there's a lot of mountains and see how that goes. Pulling up a lot of steep grades and stuff, avoid the interstate. Just some ideas that I've been throwing around in my head for the next couple of videos. you guys could let me know in the comments is if you have any recommendations for uh, for different headsets or mics. Right now I'm using a, a Turtle Beach. I don't remember the exact model, but it's a 600 something. And I mean, it's really comfortable, but I think I could find, I know I could find a, a decently priced headset that has a little better uh, mic quality. And I know when I edit the videos and I Play back my voice. Not always the best. No, so, and I'm always. I know I'm throwing a lot at you guys for the comments, but I'm just just thinking, you know, how to improve, how to make the viewing experience better. Overall, knowing that you guys are happy with the the videos, you know, it makes it makes me more excited to uh, to create new content. Back on the right track from my little uh, misstep there. A lot here. We have enough time. All right, I think we're back to where we're supposed to be now. Okay. It's a little under two hours left on this trip. 93 miles. Based off of the in-game time when we started, noon, 
It was a pretty decent trip. I thought there would be a lot more AI traffic. Ooh. I thought he was going to keep going straight. I didn't know he was turning. And he was going to pull right out in front of me. I might have just got my wish, what I said about wanting to do some back roads and some mountains. I don't know if there's any mountains here, but we are going north, so. And we are in Montana. They screwed me for this hill. I don't know why they had to brake so hard just to get in that left lane. I better get over because I don't think I'm passing anyone. I just can't get over what a sweet truck this is. I mean, just everything about it. I hate if a truck did that to me, but I shoot with a cop sitting back there. Yeah, it might just get dark enough for you guys to see the the truck at night anyway. I might get to nighttime just in time. Before I finish this load. A nice area out here. Harbor. crawl. Hopefully the slight changes in time before I get up to that bus and then have to worry about pulling out again. Starting back up. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Especially not with that truck in front of him, I don't think. Didn't even notice him. He 
this truck is pretty cool. You can even change the um, backlights for the gauges. It's set in interior lights, but you can even change them. Um, I think there was a, well, there's a red, which is what I have on here now. I think there was a blue, a green, you know, normal standard colors. There might even have been like a purple or something. I'm not entirely sure. I just went for the red because I picked the red paint scheme. Yeah, this truck is pretty detailed, pretty nice. I mean, even down to the gauges, a lot of times, some of the, especially if I'm using a free truck, you know, the gauges aren't very detailed to where I can't, you know, read them too well. But this isn't, this is pretty, pretty good. Extremely happy with this one. If this was a real life situation, I would definitely be keeping this truck for a long time. If you notice, uh, this truck has the the newer hood, you know, it's a little bit more sloped like the W900s have now. Um, they did have that back in the 90s. It was later on, but you even have the option in the, when you're modding the truck, um, when you're configuring the truck to, uh, to switch it out to the older style, you know, hood that would have been on this truck when they switched over from the, like the W900 Kenworth that was in Smoking the Bandit, you know, the old 70s. And worse, they uh, when they switched over to this model in the 80s, you're even able to select that hood. So you can, it's essentially, I mean, still a W900, but it's two different trucks when you finally, you know, are able to modify it and uh, change some of that stuff around. Almost here. I tried to get myself a little uh, challenge the other day, and I turned off uh, the prompts and indicators as to where you're supposed to actually park when you get to these places, and becoming a real challenge for me. Becoming pretty difficult, but. I figured it just, you know, added a little bit more to the realism. Oh, my little air buzzer. Put it in neutral and build up some more, some of that air. We're waiting here at the light. I don't want that to be going off when I'm trying to back up. Our turn. See where we're supposed to back in here. It's over there between them forklifts and all those boxes or is it right here next to this oh. where is it at it is they want me back in there but not, not the worst now I'm pretty rusty I really played much for the longest time but let's try it let's see how we do give me it
know if I could have to pull up again or pick our head out the window here. Yep, I was way off. Way off. Let's readjust. I used to be so good at this when I was younger and would play. But All right, you get a little rusty and it's like anything. Get back in the swing of thing. I would not like to skip parking. You face some kind of challenge in real life. You can't just uh, push a button and <laughs> it go away. So let's make this as realistic as. Guess it's not bad for feeling like a total beginner again. I'll load this trailer a little off the lines, but see how we did. Time taken, 12 in-game hours, 382 miles, 115.9 gallons used. Not too bad. Payout was where it says the payout was. I missed it, but uh, yeah. So. Thanks for joining me for another American Truck Simulator video. Um, like I said before, let me know in the comments any other videos you might want to see, any other trucks, things like that. And uh, yeah, just uh, thanks guys and take care.